Okay, this is the mass grave over here. This is where the 53 Americans would have been buried. Now, this <coughs> structure that you see, the wall here, was it's a, re a reconstruction of the original wall that was placed around this cemetery or this burial mound. Now, the monument in the middle is the oldest monument in the United States for um, war guys. Uh, I think it dates from uh, in the 18, the early part of the 18th century. Now that uh, is the Anthony Wayne Monument. Now it's covered by uh, uh, acrylic because people were uh, back a uh, hundred years or uh, you know they were chipping it. They were taking pieces off of it. Now it's buried right in the middle of the mound. This is exactly where it would have been uh, buried during this time uh, when it was uh, placed here. It would be placed right on top of the burial mound. Now the walls here, everything is exactly the way it was uh, after uh, the Battle of Paoli. Uh, so for the wall, the wall was put up a little bit later. Uh, after uh, there was uh, a lot of interest uh, because of the massacre, uh, they dedicated this area even back in the 1830s, this area was dedicated. Now uh, underneath the field here, or underneath this mound, the farmers went around. Now they didn't want their uh, the bodies on uh, their fields. They didn't want them, uh, you know, polluting uh, the area. So uh, a group of guys came into the area. The farmers. It was about five guys, and they interned 53 individuals. They interned them in this burial mound. Now, when they were putting the monument up uh, in the early part of uh, the 1800s. Uh, they found, uh, they knew that there were soldiers here. They found bones. They didn't touch them. They didn't disturb them. They put, put that uh, base there. That's, uh, that's uh, I think it's blue marble from a quarry in the, in the area. And uh, the monument was designed by a gentleman in Philadelphia. And it was uh, placed here on top of the burial mound. Now, this wasn't the first monument placed in this area. Right over here to my, uh, right behind me, there was another monument that was placed here. It was placed in, uh, I think it was uh, the 1877 uh, time frame, 100 years afterwards. At which time they, they, dig, they dug a foundation here and they disturbed the grave again. Uh, during uh, probably the, the turn of the century, uh, it was uh, found out that they want to protect this. They want to make it look exactly like it was when it was dedicated back then. Uh, 150 years ago. So uh, the walls, uh, like I said, are original. Uh, not original, but it's a reconstruction. It would have been a fence, an iron fence around this for a long time. And then they decided to make it look more original, exactly the way it looked. But uh, the farmers came in, they dug a trench. As you can see, this is a trench. And they lined the guys up. And then there's 53 of them here. And they uh, just dug a grave, probably about four feet deep. Uh, they put them in with their jackets and boots. Uh, basically, there's artifacts under the ground here, and this will stay like this. This park is protected. This is protected for a thousand years. Nobody can touch this land for a thousand years. So these guys here were, were slaughtered uh, during the Battle of Paoli in September 20th, uh, 1777.